Um, I gotta talk about the situation. Oh yeah, I got the the Malcolm X beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, family, we gotta touch on that Cassie Diddy situation. Now, yesterday, as y'all know, Cassie came out with some exploding, explosive allegations about uh, trafficking, drugs, abuse, blowing up cars, rape. Um, bussy energy, trains being run on it. Just it, it was insane. And all of a sudden today, yeah, everything is cool now. Nigga, the check cleared. It's like, oops, boy, that that cash app hit. Now everything is all right. So yeah, remember all the rapings I was talking about yesterday? Yeah, I shook it off. I didn't shook the raping off. I'm good now. Okay, all right. Boy, they made a settlement real fast. Boy, they made a settlement. Quick, fast, in a hurry. So, yeah, I'm fine now. So, yeah, they, some people are like, this is an admission of guilt. Not really. It's, it's just, been, hey, let's make it go away because the bad headlines, you know, it did what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to tear down your brand, and she knew what she was doing, and her lawyers knew what they were doing. It was all about attacking the brand for the bag. And from my understanding, they were trying to get a bag out of puppy for a minute. And again, I'm not siding with anybody. I'm not siding with anybody. But it, it does kind of have an extortion stench to it. But again, I don't know what I don't know what Puffy was doing, but this kind of has an, an extortion stench to it. This was a shakedown. This was a shakedown. You don't go one day, you're the recipient of all types of abuse and then the very next day, but yeah, don't trip, I'm good. I'm all right. Yeah. Yeah, you, the abuse don't hurt so bad once that check clear. All right. So damn. Yeah, this was a shakedown. Probably the NBA, Contracts that she probably had to sign back in the day, they expire. So while they expire, she's like, hey, let me get that bag up out you. I think he probably had an NDA um, contract with her and she tried to wait it out and she wanted to get the extortion in before the statutes of limitations ran out. And I'm, this is my conjecture. This is my conjecture. This is my conjecture. They did this thing real quick because they only had a limited time in which they could have made a civil suit based on the time of the, the alleged allegations. So they got this in real quick, just the timing of it was very interesting. So it sounds like that Puffy probably had an NDA. It ran out and they're like, uh oh, okay, so now we can talk without getting sued. Let's say a whole bunch of stuff because um, they, that, um, it's, I forgot, it's in New York, it's some kind of statute that they have where you got like um, a certain window in which you can file a civil suit based on when allegations happen. Um, the initial suit was what, 30K? A non-disclosure agreement. A, a non-disclosure agreement means that a lot of celebrities have them where when people come around, you got to sign something saying, hey, you're not going to talk about what we're doing around here. That means, hey, you're not going to, um, you know, put my business in the streets. And if you do, I'm going to get a bag about you. So Cassie was sitting on some receipts. You know, she, she knew stuff. She seen stuff. She got stuff in the briefcase. Um, they probably got... 15, 20 million. They probably got, you gave her 15 million. No, no, because, no, they're not going to give her more. No, no, no. It was initially, they wanted 30 million. I don't, I don't think he's going to give her 50 million, but they, Cassie and those people wanted 30 million. They probably got about 10, 15 out of it. 10, 15 million. Yeah. Man. But yeah, she used all the trigger words. She knew what to use. She, you know, she used all the, the trigger words. 
um, trafficking, rape, drugs, um, male escorts. See, that's the thing that's really going to get puffy because a lot of people had those allegations for a minute. So she sat here and basically said that there were dudes in here that Puffy was paying so he can watch Stroker down. And it, it got real funky. Yeah, it got real, real messy out here. He gave her five million. I don't know. I don't know. What's up on Delta Thug? But um, listen, next month here at the museum, we're going to have one of our events here. We're going to have, um, and, and the thing is, because we're doing the city got us going back and forth with some conditional use licenses and permits. Um, a lot of the public, public events we got to put on the back burner. But what we can do here, we can still have private events, which is what we're doing now. There's a private event being held here. Some people rented the place out and there's a private party here. Um, we can still have private events, meaning that you can still get tickets. You have to get them online at the website. And people just can't do walk-ups to the door. You can't walk up. And um, with our private events, we, we you know, we're not going to be selling any alcohol. We'll, we'll give it away. Now, we can give you the liquor and the food, which is what we're going to do. So when we have our private events here, um, people could still come. We're going to have our comedy joints. We're going to have food. And the food is going to be complimentary. The drinks are going to be complimentary. And um, yeah, we can still do that. So we're gonna do a big event next month, a big holiday brunch to Susse event um, next month. What's up, you you coming by? Hey, that's what's up, brother. You should come by next month when we have an event, man. We're gonna have um, something probably on um, the second Saturday of December, something like that. We're, we're gonna figure out what day. Yeah, the vandalism thing, we, we had that covered up. We did, you know, we had some people come and cover that up, so. And, um, you know, I just got to give a big shout out to the um, black community here in L.A. who they've been so supportive of the museum, man. They, the black um, L.A. family, they've been really riding for the museum heavy, man. They, they've been very supportive. Somebody said, stop saying that it was a money grab. She wanted to expose him, and that's what she did. But she did grab the money, ma'am. All right? I mean, let's be real. Miss Taya, whatever your name is, she did grab the money. Yeah? Um, yeah, there was a... Yeah, yesterday, it was like, I'm the world's biggest um, abuse victim. And today, it's like, yeah, I'm fine. Yep, today it's like, yeah, don't worry about all that I said yesterday. Everything is good now. I'm okay. I'm going to get over it. So, yeah, the, the bag was secured. You know, it's just what it is. Yeah? Yeah, the money grab. Yeah? Yeah, the claim is very interesting. What she was saying was very interesting. Yeah? It's Taya. It's Taylor. Well, how about I do this since I'm trying to pronounce your name? How about you hop? Grab dirty, I see you, player. What's up, Black Voltron? Teo, now why did you deny getting on here? Since you got all that damn mouth in the comment section, you could have just hopped on here with all that mouth. Taya or Taya, whatever you want to pronounce your name. What's up, Lexery? It's Taya. You didn't get on here. Trying to run that little mouth of yours. But um, um, it's interesting. It's an interesting thing. And again, I'm not, I'm not really taking a side here. You didn't decline. Well, let's try it again. You did decline. All right, go live. I'm going live with you. All right. There you are. Can we see me? There you go. Let's get a, let's get a light on in there. We got some light. We got some light. What's going on? So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at all the, the comments from all pages. And to me, no, I don't think, I don't feel like she wants just the money. She wants to expose him. 
People have been talking about Cassie and Diddy for years. But if she wanted to expose them, why did she settle and like, just put everything to the side so quickly? Because now look look how much support she got. I've been reading so many people coming out supporting her that were scared. Diddy's powerful. People are afraid of him. And so now when she has people to support her, she's like, okay, I got this. We don't even know what she settled for, but I don't feel that it's just about money for her. But damn, she done, she done settled it a day later and she's not going to talk about he, it. No more. He settled it a day later. He probably may have shot some India or uh, something like that. I'm shocked about that. Why he settled people, so fast? Two people have to settle, sweetie. She has to accept the settlement. She was right. trying to get a bank, so she accepted the settlement. Right. Right. But in the meantime, we also heard a bunch of stuff we, that we didn't hear from her before. Yeah, because I'm thinking that the NDA agreement probably ran out. And, and again, that was what she was using as leverage. The leverage was, I'm going to embarrass you if you don't give me no money. He didn't give her no money. So she was like, well, look, this nigga be whacking off with dudes, banging me. So she's saying all this reckless stuff. And Puffy's like, oh, shit, let me pay this thing out. Right. And she's like, thank you. Everything is going to go away. So... Some people, and I, I don't, I can't confirm or deny anything. I don't know, but some people are saying this kind of minimizes certain situations where women are, you know, allegedly abused. If you know, people are doing it for a money grab, will that minimize real cases? Right. Well, we don't. We still know it's still new. She might have other things that she might do. We don't know. I don't really know. I just know that they settled really fast. And in my heart, I just don't believe she just did it for the money. There you go. All right, beloved. Well, thank you so much, dear. I appreciate have, it. Have a good night. All right. All right. Man. Man, man, man. Let's get some more folks. Let me get some more of the ladies in here. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. What's up, Nikki the God? I see you. So, yeah, you're telling me she wanted to expose Puffy. She's not going to say anything else. You better believe that whatever settlement they had, it's to shut up forever. What's up, my brother Shaka Bars? Let me get Shaka in here. Let me get my brother Shaka. Me, what part of the world are you in right now, Shaka? Is Shaka be jet setting? Shaka be all over the place, man. Where you at? Are you in um, Dubai or India right now, brother? You were there bathing an elephant somewhere in Thailand? Where you at, um, Brother Shaka? Man. But yeah, she's not going to be able to say nothing. You know, she's not going to be able to say nothing no more. And, um, you know, I wonder what the bag was. You know, I don't think, they probably gave her half. They probably gave 15 million. 